All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lupagus Show. I am One Bar. You know, I just sat down, got my coffee, ready to start today, and boom, Vikings news explodes. Yannick Ngakwe has officially been traded to the Baltimore Ravens, as you probably have already seen, but let's talk about it. The dream of Daniil Hunter, Yannick Ngakwe, Michael Pierce, the fantastic defensive line that we're all just very excited about for 2021, possibly 2021. Um, the dream is dead. Yannick Ngakwe, possibly one of a handful of moves that the Vikings are going to make before the trade deadline. The towel has officially been thrown in as far as the 2020 season. This makes it extremely clear. So the Vikings trade him to the Ravens for a 2021 third round pick and a 2022 conditional fifth. Uh, if you remember, we traded um, a second and a conditional fifth for him. So we lose, we lose a second round pick. Um, but at this point, is what it is. Uh, when they made the trade, they they obviously knew Daniel Hunter was was going to be out longer than expected. They did not know they were going to be this bad. They they were thinking, hey, look, we'll fill him in with Daniel Hunter. Um, when Daniel Hunter comes back, we'll be even better, and uh, and they'll go from there, thinking that they would have a decent record and make a push. Clearly, they're not making the push. And Gakwe is a free agent after this year uh, with our money situation that would have been very tough to bring him back. So everybody, their first side was just like, oh man, we lost second round pick for nothing. You can't say that. They went all in, they went for it, and uh, it just did not work out. Um, the compensation, as far as I think they received back, it's fine. It's not bad. It's not great. Uh, he's he's going to be very good for the Ravens. He's a very good player. He's young, and uh, he's bringing his five sacks over there. So what does this mean for the Vikings moving forward? Damn. This hurts, man. I, I really liked Ngakwe. I was really hoping there was going to be some way they could bring him back. All right, get over it. Um, all right, so they got a Denebo, and now they have Jalen Holmes and DJ Wanham at defensive end. Our uh, our one in five season is probably going to get a little bit grosser. Um, we're just going to have to roll with the punches. It, we, we're, at, we're at one in five. And uh, the good news is we're going to see probably a healthy dose of DJ Wanham. He showed, he showed some things out there that, that get me a little excited. Um, hopefully, I hope they start the guy. I hope it's him and Odenabo out there. As far as guys in the practice squad, there's really not many young guys. We got Eddie Yarbrough, who I'm sure they will bring up in, in to fill his spot. But there's not any really younger guys except for DJ Wanham that is that they could start molding. So imagine or uh, expect a DJ Wanham show. And um, come draft day next year, we're gonna have a lot of a lot of a lot of picks in the first four rounds. Expect some wheeling and dealing. Expect him to get back into the second round with those thirds, with the fourths. Um, and uh, and it is what it is. I'm, I'm overall, I'm glad they made the move. I'm glad they made, made the move just based on the fact that they they realize that they're not getting any much from him, um, or that we probably wouldn't re-sign him. The fact that the season is over, why not do it? So. Done deal. Like I said, I expect, I fully expect some other trades to happen, whether it's Kyle Rudolph, um, whether it's possibly even Riley Reef. Uh, expect some expect some moves to, to beef up these draft picks because we are out. And if Yannick's gone, anything's possible. 